An additional type of analysis that our customers are looking for is a deeper analysis with the ability to do trending or to slice and dice that data and to do personal exploration. One of the primary capabilities that we provide to do this is through Analysis Studio. Let me show you an example here. I'm interested in looking at some of my information across dates. I need to do some trending for 2004. I'm going to go ahead and take 2004 and put that in my columns. I'd like to look at it by product because I am very interested in the consumer electronics area. And I'd like to look at it by revenue. I'm just going to drop that in there. I know that we had some issues in Q2 of 2004 and I want to drill down into what those issues are. As you can see here, the revenue dropped from 30 million to 11 million, but then it came back up to 32 million. Once again, I want to focus on consumer electronics, so let me go ahead and click on that. What I'd also like to do is see where within my geographies the biggest dip occurred, or if it was just one geography or multiple geographies. So I'm going to go ahead and take my locations and put those there. As you can see, it has taken my context filter of consumer electronics and added that so my data is still filtered on consumer electronics. However, now I can see all of the different locations. I can see that we had a very, very large drop within the Americas, so I want to go ahead and take a look at a bit deeper into that. Though I see that we did have a drop throughout the other geographies, the Americas took the biggest hit. So I'm going to go ahead and drill down or go down into additional information about the Americas. I can see here that we did take a hit in both Canada and the United States, obviously the United States being the larger of the hits. Now I'd like to see perhaps we had an issue with the various order methods. So let me go ahead and I'm going to nest those so that I can see my regions by order method. Now in the past I may have had to run multiple reports to get this information, or I may have had to to piece together the information within Excel and taking quite a bit of time to do this analysis. With the Cognos 8 BI analysis, I'm able to quickly and easily navigate through my information to get to the, to the nugget of information that I'm looking for to do my analysis and be able to quickly turn around and make those better decisions. I can see here that we did have some issues with the order methods outside of email. In fact, for the United States, our email revenue went up in Q2. So I might want to take it from here and go a little bit further and look into and talk to the different operations folks about the various order methods to find out if during Q2 we had some issues with the other order methods. So what this has shown you is that through Analysis Studio, we can do quick and easy exploration by business dimensions. I can do my side-by-side -side comparison. I'm able to change my context and quickly and easily filter on my data so that I can do that personal exploration, that comparing and contrasting to get those sales trends or the marketing trend analysis that I need to do in order to, to be able to identify factors that affect performance from different points of view and also be able to have a larger impact in the business overall through better decisions.